It's been 10 days since the Court of Appeal granted the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, access to all the sensitive materials used by the Independent National Electoral Commission for the conduct of the February 25 presidential election. This is to allow him prosecute his case of challenging the election effectively, but he is yet to gain access to the INIC materials, which has led to a lot of agitation among his supporters. This is why the legal team of the Labour Party is at the headquarters of INEC to meet with the leadership of the commission. The team was received by INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu. After deliberations, the commission promised to provide the Labour Party with all required documents. In the letter, we were served notice that the team will be here on the 7th at 9 in the morning uh, to inspect the materials. But most specifically, the letter requested us to get in touch with our resident electoral commissioners across the 37 states of the Federation to make the documents and information available. INEC chairman, however, said there are some documents at the state headquarters of the commission and will require extra efforts to get them to the Labour Party's legal team. A meeting has been scheduled with all the resident electoral commissioners is going to be a virtual meeting at 3 p.m. today, at which we'll discuss, among other issues, this matter of providing CTCs not only to the Labour Party, but to all other litigants as well. I want to assure you that the Commission will not hide any document from anybody and will make any document that they have requested. Lead counsel to the Labour Party, Levi Uzuku, says he's hopeful that INEC will obey the orders of the court and make the documents available to his team. We have not received any electoral document from INEC that will enable us to file petition on behalf of our clients. And as you all know, election petition is time sensitive. We have 21 days to file petition on behalf of our clients. Out of that 21 days, we probably have about 10 days to go. And up to now, we have not received any documents. Less than 10 days. What will be the next step if INEC fails to release the documents to meet up with the timing of the Labour Party legal team? That will be a national calamity. Why do I say that? Not making the documents available, we create the impression that INEC is deliberately frustrating us. That's just the impression it will create to make sure that we cannot prosecute this petition. But listening to the chairman a, a short while ago and all the assurances, I want to give him, or we want to give him the benefit of the doubt. He has assured the team of lawyers that they are going to present those documents. So we want to wait and see the responses of our legal team. It is the legal team that will give us the matching order when they are satisfied with what they've received from INEG so that our members nationwide and worldwide will be satisfied that we, they, we are doing our job and they are ready to prosecute this case. But the promise of fairness and transparency by INEC to the Labour Party and other political parties, Nigerians are looking forward to an interesting legal battle ahead.